Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So we've got a weird and wonderful little uh, receiver today. Uh, this one definitely leaves you with the uh, WTF. <laughs> but this is another DM Racing one. Um, it's a receiver and ESC all in one for brushed motors. Now I will put a uh, pin out of what all these are but basically we have the four receiver sockets, uh, it's four servo sockets, sorry, that's these, and then the fifth one is telemetry. You've also got positive and negative for powering, and then your brush motor terminals for the power out. And what I'm going to want to do with this is use it in the SCX24. So, first thing I'm going to do just to make my life easier is solder on a connection. Uh, a socket same as what the SCX24 batteries have uh, to the plus and minus there. So what we need is, although it comes with four of these cables, which I'm guessing are for motor, you've got four servo sockets, you've got one telemetry socket, and you've got two of these. So I might use those for the motor. You just have to see. Because um, basically, these little connections that I've got, so it matches the SCX24, although they're quite close for them, they're not really well suited for that side. But that said, I could always just put a short fly lead on and have it just hanging off. So, let's get that done first. So I'll get another of these, I'm going to solder one into there, I'm going to solder some cables on for motor, so we might as well check, make sure the motor will work, and then we can get it powered up and see if it will connect to the MB4. Right, so we've got the socket roughly in place, I just want the uh, contacts to just stick through the bottom. Uh, we're going to try soldering iron at 350 degrees C. I don't want to use too much heat on this if I can get away with it. So that's got his first contact on. So that's about as close as I can get it to it without cutting the side off this, which I don't want to do. But it has got hold of it really nice and sturdy. And they're not shorting out or anything. So, we know that the one closest to the telemetry port is positive. So, we should now be able to connect this on and it should power up. Right, so it will power up. And let's see if we can get it to go into bind mode as it powers. Yep, so it'll go into bind mode and it powers up fine. Right, now, next thing we're going to need to do is make some power cables for the motor. I think it's going to be better off tinning these first. A little bit awkward trying to uh, get these in, but this should should go easy enough once I get it in position. Yep, 
yeah it's definitely a lot easier just tinning those two solder pads and then dropping the wire through it's just a little bit awkward getting it in position first What I like to do is try and just take some of these pointed bits of solder off. But as you can see, that's got both of them soldered in nicely. Now, I think I'm going to run this quite short because the motor lead on the S624 is easily long enough. Um, but what I'm going to do first, because I will want to... Uh, I will want to heat shrink these um, but as we're not quite sure what the uh, which ways forward and back I'm just going to cut both these down and I'm just going to bear these back a little and then I'm just going to get a little bit of solder on here Then I'm just going to solder these on because I'm not sure which way around we're going to need this uh, plug. So I'm just going to get get this soldered on so we can try it, and then when we work out which way around these need to be, we can solder it on permanently. Just make sure they're not shutting out anywhere. Right, so what we should be able to do now is hold the bind button, power it up, and then I'll go and grab the uh, MB4 and see if we can bind it. Right, so first thing we're going to need to do is choose a model memory. So I've already got one named for the SCX24. Then you want to set your channel numbers, which is four. And then bind. I'm guessing it's going to bind as a classic. Right, that's interesting. So it won't bind as a classic, will it bind as an enhanced? Binding. Right, so straight out of box it's not going to bind with a uh, MB4 on the latest firmware. So, let's see if there's anything we can do to update the firmware on this one. So, the next thing to try is we're going to need to know which is we're going to need to know which one of these is servo socket number 4 see if there's anything that identifies it so this is really tiny but on the back they are actually labeled 1 2 3 and 4 so this one should be four. So if we connect a socket to that one, and if this is anything like the uh, other DM racing ones, we want the signal wire and then short it to the bind button as we power the receiver up. Yeah, so 
it is same as the other DM racing ones you do have to make sure it's on the actual solder pad to the bottom of the bind plug Let's see if I can get you a close-up of that one so the point that you actually have to short the uh, number four to is the tiny little solder pad there the one that's in line with the end of that wire you just need to hold it in place on that until while you power it up so let's try powering it back down and again we'll hold the bind button and power it back up into bind mode and let's see if we can get it to bind this time Right, so we've now worked out how to update and bind this on the latest uh, MB4, I think it's still 2093 update. So let's see, see if we've got a uh, an SCX motor kicking around somewhere that I haven't got actually fastened into an SCX. So connect the stock motor and see if we get any movement with the throttle I don't know if you can see that but you should be able to air it so that's forward and full control forward and reverse so, hopefully, all we've got to do now is work out which way round is forward and which way round is reverse when it's fastened in an SCX24. But that'll be in the next video. So, just to recap and make this uh, a little bit easier for you. Let's see if I can show you a real close-up of what you actually need to do to put it into firmware update mode. So, basically... You take the white pin, white cable, in socket number four, and you short it to that tiny little solder pad in the front of the bind, socket, bind button, and then power it up, and then update it as just an FGR4S or F S FGR4P. But... Thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like this type of video, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I'll catch you guys again in the next one.